what makes human unique? We have an extraordinary intelligence with an exceptionally large brain consisting of more than 100 billion neurons. So what is so special about the human brain? What does human brain um, have and the other species do not have? The structure of the brain may have some clues about that secret. As you see here, the structural feature among different species have a range of wide variety, including overall size, degree of folding, and the number of neurons. When you construct a building, the step-by-step -step process must be well-designed and tightly regulated for the functionality and the robustness of the building. And by understanding the construction process, you may also comprehend the function of the completed building. So, how are our brain built in the fetus? The small population of neural stem cells generate diverse types of cells, and those cells migrate to the right position and eventually connect each other to form neural network. And these processes are accurately curated by um, architectural blueprint, which is called developmental program. So if we can understand the nature of the developmental program, we may also understand the origin of our intelligence, emotion, and complex behaviors. And when the normal developmental process goes awry, it frequently manifests as a brain disorders, such as autism, schizophrenia, and intellectual disabilities. Studying the human brain development is also very important to answer the question like, why we are different from other animals? And how we can develop better treatment for brain disorders. So how we can study the brain development? Previously, most of the study have used animal models, such as mouse models. However, the human brain development is, has a lot of unique features which are different from other animal species. Therefore, our previous understanding on human brain development has been very limited so far. Pluripotent stem cell is a primitive embryonic cell which can become any type of cells in our body. And scientists develop a way to drive a pluripotent stem cell from our skin cell. So technically, we can generate pluripotent stem cell by simple skin biopsy of any person. So what can we do with pluripotent stem cell? Recently, several experimental recipe has been developed to generate fetal brain-like structures using three-dimensional culture of pluripotent stem cell. That is called brain organoid. Brain organoid recapitulate many important features of the actual fetal brain. By culturing more than three months, the brain organoid have most of the cell type with the right position as in the actual brain. So with this technology, um, indeed we can, the current technology, we can mimic the status of human brain around six months old pregnancy. Because we can generate brain organoid from pluripotent stem cell, it is theoretically possible to generate brain organoid resembling your fetal brain or patient with specific brain disorders. And this brain organoid can be cultured in the laboratory dish. So what you can do with brain organoid? First, we can investigate the human brain development in the laboratory without very serious ethical issues. For example, individual cells in the brain organoid can be imaged by microscope, which is enabled to monitor the critical step to build our brain. Second, brain organoid technology gives us a very remarkable opportunity to access the patient-drive brain-like cells. So with this technology, the causes and the progression of the brain disorder can be extensively, extensively studied in the laboratory. Third, scientists can test a new drug on patient-derived brain organoid before doctors actually test it in clinic. So this preclinical model will increase the validity and the accuracy of the new drug and also minimize the size effect and the cost for the developing new therapeutics. So with a history of less than 10 years, brain organoid technology have started to give a major impact on medical research already. So future progress in this technology will give rise to new innovation to study human brain development as well as brain disorders. Yeah. Thank you for your attention.